On the mound for the Rangers today will be John Gray. Gray working on 11 days rest. He has a record of six wins and five losses and a 366 ERA. He has had good success in his career against the Marlins. Lead it off the second baseman, Luis Arise. And Gray strikes him out swinging. So just like that, he does strike out Arise one away. So here is Soler, 0-2. And the pitch is popped in the air to short center field. Leody Tavares coming on. And he puts the screws on it. So two up, two down for Josh Bell, the switch hitter. That one taken outside. Bell continues to get on base. He's been certainly a nice addition to this Marlins club in that regard. So here's Chisholm. Again, Bell goes. And outside for ball four. So the Marlins have worked a couple of two out walks against John Gray. And Brian De La Cruz will bat with two on and two away. This one popped up. Back of second base. Simeon goes out, but it is Tavares coming in who will take it, and the inning is done. George Soriano, who's been sensational coming out of the bullpen for Miami. They'll ask Soriano to make his first career start here in the show. Marcus Simeon, first pitch swinging here at the bottom of the first inning as a line drive to left field and a sliding grab by Brian De La Cruz. A terrific catch. There's one out here at the bottom of the first. Here's Corey Seeger. 0 and 1 to Corey. And that one is lined to center field. Base hit over the head of the shortstop window. He is way over toward the middle. We're scoreless, and Nate Lowe is coming up. Out to left field. De La Cruz back a few steps, makes the catch, two away. Nothing, nothing, first inning, and here's Adolis with that huge game last night. That was nasty slider, and Garcia went around. Takes nine pitches for him to get through the inning. So we've got one out. Here in the uh, top half of the second, and that brings up Jesus Sanchez. Two strike pitch. And did he go? They want an appeal. Yes, he did. A strikeout of Sanchez. Two away in the second. Gray working with some pretty good tempo. So far this afternoon, pretty sharp. The two strike pitch. A swing and a miss. His third strikeout through the first two innings. One, two, three. Second inning for John Gray. So Wendell on board with a leadoff single. And that takes us back to the top of the order. And Luis Arise. The pitch to Arise swung on, blooped in the air, left field. That's a base hit for Luis Arise. And the first two men have base knocks for Miami here in the top of the third inning. Here comes Jorge Soler with Wendell at second, Arise at first, nobody out, scoreless, top of the third. He's got a couple of men on base. Get a base knock here, make it 1 0. In center, and it will get down, and it gets by. Tavares going all the way to the wall. Wendell is going to score easily. Arise getting waved around. Here comes the relay throw late. Jorge Soler drives in a couple, and the Marlins get that big hit, 2 0. And you can see the frustration there from Leori Tavares because he realizes he made a bad decision. He had no chance at catching that baseball. The Marlins are in business. Now the Marlins have a runner on third with less than two outs, and they must plate this run. Jazz Chisholm in the batter's box. You know, he doesn't have to try to make it 4 nothing right here. Fly ball somewhere. Ground ball sneaks through the infield. It's going to be 3 nothing Miami. The high chopper hit towards short. It's going to play to run. Seeger's got it. He won't even make a throw to first. It's an RBI infield single for Jazz Chisholm Jr. And the Marlins lead 3-0 here in the second. But there's two outs. Here is John Birdie. Jazz is at first. Runner goes. Pitches a strike. Throw to second. It's a good one. And it's in time. They throw out Chisholm. Great peg by Austin Hedges. And the inning is done. Jazz was a, a little slow to get up. And no one is in center field at the moment. So Jazz went down the, the tunnel there toward the clubhouse. Berger's going to take over at third. And maybe Birdie is going to make his way out to the outfield. Making his first start as the Texas Ranger. Austin Hedges leads off the bottom of the third. As this one has popped up off of first. Bell and Fortes heading over. Oh. And Fortes makes the catch. Nick Fortes like Nick Walenda in that netting down there making the grab. That's what we call a snow cone grab. And now the Marlins have runners at second and third with one out here in the top of the fourth inning leading three to nothing. It brings up Joey Wendell and the Rangers will bring the infield in. In the air towards center line drive is caught birdie tags and he'll score easily on the sacrifice fly for Joey Wendell. 4 0 Miami. Back to back singles, a sacrifice bunt, and a sacrifice fly. That is how you produce a run. Here's a rise. He swings and he hits it in the air down the left field line. Duran is on the run. He dives. He can't get it. Got leather on it. One run is going to score. A rise has an RBI double with two outs here in the fourth. 
It's 5 nothing Miami now. And then the Rangers are cooking. First and third, nobody out. And Robbie Grossman coming up. And perhaps this is the opportunity that the Rangers have been looking for offensively. Here's the one, two. And that ball's hit high in the air. Deep out to right. It is gone. A Grossman three run homer has the Rangers right back in it. It's a leadoff double for Marcus Simeon and the Rangers here at the bottom of the fifth inning. Tori Seeger, one big swing, and we'd have a new game. That ball smashed. It's gone! Corey Seager ties it in the fifth. The Rangers have come all the way back from five to nothing on two swings of the bat. And we've got a new ball game here in the bottom of the fifth. One out and one on in a tie ball game in the last of the fifth. Josh Young is coming to the plate. Young just smashed one. Down the line. Gone! Another two run homer. And the Rangers just keep circling the bases. It's seven to five. And there's two away. Here's Ezekiel Duran, and he pops a ball in the air foul territory. Josh Bell is over. He slides, and he makes the catch. What a sliding grab in foul territory by Josh Bell. I see you, big fella. To end the bottom of the fifth inning. But now there's two outs. So here's Nick Fortes. Fortes out toward left center going way back and into the Marlins bullpen. A solo homer, Nick Fortes. Nick Fortes makes it 7-6 to six here in the top of the sixth inning. And Seager draws the leadoff one. That brings up Nathaniel Lowe. Rangers threatening for more. This one in the air. Out to left field. Over the head of Brady. Up against the fence. And then crashes back past him. Here comes Seager. He scores. RBI double for Lowe. And it's 8-6. to six. Geraldus Chapman warming up and he is now ready to go. Now there are two men on and nobody out. And uh, Nick Fortes coming up. Here's a 2 2. And strike three called. Got him on the slider. Fortes, the first strikeout victim of the inning. Well, Avisael Garcia is going to pinch hit here. A big 3 2 pitch. And that is in there. Strike three called. Garcia down looking back to back K's. For Chapman. Well, this is fun. Yeah, now this is really an interesting matchup with a rise coming to the plate. You're just looking for weak contact. And there is the weak contact right down to first. Low to the bag himself, and the inning is done. A couple of singles to start the inning, but nothing after that. Chapman gets it done. Now there's two outs with two men on base for Texas here in the bottom of the eighth inning. So hits now in 14 of the last 18 games for Low. And it is smashed down the third baseline. That's trouble. A weird kick out into left field. Tavares scores. And it's an RBI double for Lowe. It's second of the ball game. Rangers now up by three, nine to six. Ball four to Jorge Soler leading off the top of the ninth inning. So it's a, it's a good start here. You got to get guys on if you want to have a chance to win this sucker. We're out number one. Here comes Jake Berger. Jake Berger with a fly ball. This one's hit deep. This one's hit back toward the wall. This one is gone. Jake Berger, his first big fly as a Marlin. A two-run bomb here in the top of the ninth inning. And now the Marlins trail by just one. It's nine to eight. And now that run the Rangers got in the bottom of the eighth looms very large. Two away here in the ninth. Here comes Birdie. A flare. Out near right field and tracked down by Simeon. This one is over and the Rangers win it today nine to eight to take the first two games of the series.